unearths a scary reality. The world is running out of water. What they had done was leave behind something that was so stupendous, so monstrously impressive. The skeleton looked sort of human-like, only much bigger and a little stranger. Next thing you know, bada boom, bada bing, bada bam. Just when you'd think that most of history has been covered, the drying rivers reveal some of the most mysterious realities. Terrifying remains buried under lost civilizations or unbelievable artifacts with horrific warnings from the past. Join us to witness the most shocking pieces of history that dried rivers are finally unveiling. Buried in the mud, they find bones and multiple human remains submerged in their lush fields. The dried up Levenluta Lake in Finland became a mystery where the secret of an eerie burial site was uncovered in the 1900s. Imagine stumbling upon the remains of nearly a hundred people dating back to the Iron Age scattered across muddy farmland. Initially dismissed as a graveyard, this site baffled the experts with no local knowledge of a nearby cemetery or an ancient graveyard. Theories of war collapsed with the absence of any weapons on site. But if this was the site of a battle, and these were fallen heroes, then where are all the weapons? Then a bone-chilling hypothesis emerged, a religious sacrificial site. Archaeologists speculated that it was once a lake of ancient sacrifices, with wooden logs hinting at a grim purpose of holding down the bodies of women and children. What do you think it was? A ritual site or an unusual burial site? Cyclops go. The skeleton looked sort of human-like, only much bigger and a little stranger. Next thing you know, bada boom, bada bing, bada bam. What you see before you is the skull of a cyclops, the subject of ancient Greek myths. The large hole in the center is the enormous single eye socket. It was found years ago by people who identified it as a cyclops skull. They had no other explanation for the massive size and terrifying appearance of their discovery. These giants were once believed to have lived on the island of Sicily, possessing godlike power. Cyclops were ferocious and huge man-eating giants that only had one great eye in the center of their forehead. But hold up, it's time for a reality check. Turns out Sicily was actually once home to ancient elephants, and the skull belonged to one of those species. When the island's first residents found fossilized elephant skulls, they probably mistook the big hole where the trunk connected for the eye socket of a one-eyed giant. Probably, speculations like this gave rise to the myth of the Cyclops. What did you first think of this skull? Lake Mead Two human bodies have been discovered, one hidden in a barrel, still dressed in 1970s clothing. As the harsh climate wreaked havoc, the receding waters unveiled a sinister secret in Colorado. The locals stumbled upon the remnants of a homicide victim in a barrel, which emerged from the depths of Lake Mead. In some cases, it's even murder victims, and some experts estimate a hundred more to be found. But that's not the end of it. As the water levels kept dropping, authorities found five more bodies shrouded in mystery. Who were they? How did they meet their gruesome fate? Experts believe that many other such findings will follow in the upcoming years as the lake keeps drying off. These consequences of climate change are surely the ones we never saw coming. And that's not all. Artifacts from the region's past inhabitants, now exposed by the drying lake bed, add an eerie layer to this gripping tale. Eva of Naharan. Once we found it, Alright, there are some human bones, that's great. In the enigmatic waters of the Naharan Cave near Tulum, some divers made chilling discoveries. They found the skeletal remains of ancient humans that were shrouded in secrecy for 13,600 years. The oldest of these remains is believed to be of a woman named Eva of Naharan. She became a part of history in her mid-twenties. The researchers put their efforts into remaking the visual image of her face using information found in the remains and history. It's a pleasure to introduce you. This is Eve of Naharon. Oh, she's quite lovely. But wait, there's more to Naharon Cave. Seven other skeletons were also found later on, dating back to around 13,000 years old. The research shows differences in features of these human remains compared to the ones found earlier in the United States. 
This discovery provided a new perspective on everything we thought we knew about America's ancient history, as it revealed early diverse settlements challenging the narrative of a group migration. Headless Statue A 150-year-old Buddhist temple that was submerged in the water reservoir of a dam became visible for the first time in half a century in 2020 in Thailand. Due to the decade-long drought, the water had receded so much that locals could not only see, but also walk on the emerging stone building. Along with the temple, the 13-foot headless statue of Buddha also made it to the surface, making it a sight for the believers. Fearing this may be a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, they gathered to soak in the spiritual aura, praying for a stroke of good fortune. Two thousand year old boat. Because before I don't believe the God. Mm. After I find it, everything changed inside. During the severe drought of 1986, the water level of the Sea of Galilee receded and revealed an ancient boat submerged in the bottom. The boat was discovered by two brothers who went to the sea in search of artifacts. When they saw an object emerging from the mud, they alerted archaeologists of that area. The moment we find the boat, the archaeologists came, cleaned pieces and said she is very old. The Israel Antiquities Authority spent 12 days clearing away the mud until they uncovered the remarkably well-preserved 2,000-year-old boat. Based on the results of radiocarbon dating, the boat was constructed sometime between 40 BC and 50 AD, indicating that it might be one of the boats of Jesus' time. It was found to have been made from 10 different types of wood. This ancient boat is now on display at the Yigal Alon Museum in Kibbutz Ginnasar, Israel. Sea Monster He looked up at the cliff and got this drain going, and through that, and uh, some stills we took of the light lightly looking bits. Recently, the 150 million year old remains belonging to a predatory marine reptile were excavated by a fossil enthusiast while walking along England's famous Jurassic Coast. This was a chance discovery that led to a retrieval mission of epic proportions as fossil experts scaled down a nearby cliff face in search of the rest of it. It resulted in the discovery of a monstrous skull believed to belong to a new to science species, Pliosaur can't help but focus on its 130 teeth, especially those at the front. Look at the sheer size of the skull, larger than most people are tall these days. This animal would have been so massive that I think it would have been able to prey effectively on anything unfortunate enough to be in its way. The two meter long fossil is one of the most complete specimens of its type ever discovered, and is giving new insights into this ancient predator. Mammoth Graveyard that thing's solid, though. Wow. That might be the scapula, actually. An extraordinary journey took two friends back in time as they stumbled upon massive mammoth graveyards in the heart of Florida in 2022. Imagine the thrill as they came across the well-preserved bones of extinct mammals that once roamed our Earth, cloaked by enigma for thousands of years. They made their first discovery on the bank of the river concealed in mud. And there's bone all around the edges of it, like here's big chunks of bone. They unearthed the jaws and teeth, weighing 20 pounds, belonging to extinct mammoths. Another discovery was triggered by a storm, which brought some ancient remains near the water's surface, stuck under a log. It revealed fragments of the mammoth's gigantic pelvis, legs, and scapula. The sheer size of their bones left them in awe of the size and terror of this mammal, dating back to 10,000 years ago. That it's a very big boat. Tomb of Gilgamesh. The Euphrates River is one of the most important rivers in the world. Yet this river now has been going through a vicious cycle of drought and become home to various intimidating discoveries. Back in 2003, something big happened when a team of researchers dug up an ancient site in the riverbed. They claimed to have found the lost tomb of a Nephilim king, Gilgamesh. Reportedly, he was the son of a Sumerian king and used to rule the land of Uruk. According to ancient stories, the 17-foot-tall giant was buried under the Euphrates River. So, when a video from an unknown site was uploaded displaying the discovery of his tomb, 
it instantly went viral. The authenticity of the video still needs to be discovered, as officials maintained an unusually secretive stance and refrained from disclosing any details. Is this some big secret they're hiding? Or is the video just a hoax? What's your take on this mystery? Vampire Skeleton Ever wondered about real-life vampire tales? Well, in 2012, Bulgarian archaeologists discovered a vampire skeleton during their excavations near the Black Sea. These were identified as the remains of a man in his 40s, buried with a wooden stake, now on display at the National Museum of History in Sofia. Experts suggested that it had been placed in his chest to keep the deceased from coming back to life and disturbing the living. His neighbors weren't taking any chances. Apart from this, archaeologists have also unearthed over 100 graves, in which remains have been pinned down with such vampire-deterring methods. The people who used to take their own lives were the ones most likely to experience this spooky treatment. This spine-tingling evidence sheds light on an ancient anti-vampire ritual that once swept through Eastern Europe, reflecting the genuine fear of these creatures. Neanderthal's Remains in 2021, at a prehistoric site, archaeologists in Italy discovered the remains of nine Neanderthals near the harbor in Rome. These recently discovered remains belong to one woman, seven men, and a young boy. These species are known as the closest ancient relatives of humans, and the oldest of them are said to be dated to as many as 100,000 years ago. It's very rare to find so many Neanderthal remains in one place. It's believed that the predatory mammals might have hunted them, especially the most vulnerable ones. The remains of some animals such as hyenas and rhinos were also found scattered in these caves. These new findings make Gutari Caves one of the most significant places in the world for the history of Neanderthals. Mastodon Fossils An incredible mastodon tooth. The thing is huge! That's gotta be one of the biggest, baddest ones I've found. A local man has discovered the largest ever teeth of an extinct mastodon in his many years of fossil hunting in the wilderness of Florida. Teeth this large are extremely rare, as they normally break into many pieces before ever being recorded. It is a natural miracle that these were discovered in a rather conserved condition. Mastodons were browsers, who primarily fed on soft vegetation and had distinct lophodont teeth just like us, which set them apart from mammoths. Fossil evidence suggests they were widespread in North America, Eurasia, and Africa during the Pleistocene epoch, and went extinct around 10,000 years ago. Conditions like this provide an excellent preservation environment for the teeth and bones of these mammals. Lost City Welcome to Petra, a place with roots dating back to 9000 BC. Originally known to its inhabitants as Rakhmu, it is a historical and archaeological city in southern Jordan near the Red Sea. It rose to prominence as the capital of the Nabataean Kingdom in the 4th century BC, only to be mysteriously lost to time by the 8th century AD. But wait, in 1812, a Swiss explorer stumbled upon Petra's enigmatic ruins, unlocking a forgotten chapter. The prime examples of Hellenistic architecture featured in Petra are its monastery, palace, treasury, tombs, and theater. Fast forward to the early 2000s, Petra earned the title of one of the seven new wonders of the world, triggering a surge in curiosity. Now, efforts are underway to safeguard this ancient wonder from both time's erosion and the perils of modern tourism. Ancient Bones Along the Mashavera River of Georgia, hidden relics from the early Stone Age emerged, unveiling secrets dating back to the Pleistocene era. In 2021, a team of vigilant archaeologists meticulously unearthed artifacts, including an ancient skull dating back more than one million years ago. Scientists believe that the site is important for understanding the migration of our ancestors, as it potentially links us to the ancient settlements of Homo erectus beyond Africa. But that's not all. Buckle up for the real intrigue. In 2022, another jaw-dropping discovery unfolded in Dmanisi, revealing a 1.8 million year old tooth. The experts suggest it belonged to an early hominid, painting Georgia as the cradle of one of Europe's earliest prehistoric human settlements. 
jaw fossil. The drought-stricken Mississippi River has become the home of many old artifacts found over the previous few years. A man from Oxford Village came across an Ice Age fossil submerged in the sand bed of the newly exposed area. He knew he had discovered something extraordinary as he stumbled upon the jaw. When he took it for research, experts confirmed it belonged to the species Panthera atrox, more commonly known as the large American lion. The jaw's unique structure, with a gap between premolars and canines, sealed the identification. It is believed that these creatures went extinct around 11,000 years ago. This discovery marks one of the only four fossils of American lions found in the region of Mississippi. Human Remnants In the Aegean Sea, near the Greek island of Antikythera, a mysterious shipwreck revealed a secret in 2016. <laughs> an ancient skeleton. To be precise, a human skeleton. These well-preserved remains, entangled with sand and pottery fragments, unveil the story of a young man, perhaps a lost crewman from centuries ago. Rib pieces, femurs, arm bones, and a skull with three teeth still clinging to history. This discovery marks the first of its kind at a shipwreck site, sparking intrigue among the archaeologists. Before this, no bodies or remains of survivors were discovered near the scene. This silent witness will help the researchers unlock the secrets of human lives two millennia past, revealing a forgotten chapter lost in the deep blue expanse of time. Ancient Face Mask In 2021, deep within the pits of San Xingdui ruins in China, an ancient, colossal bronze mask emerged. It stole the spotlight as the largest mask ever found, even in the Shu and Zhao dynasties of the Chinese monarchy. This hauntingly preserved relic measures a whopping 136 centimeters from ear to ear and stands at a mysterious height of 75 centimeters. This eerie artifact raised countless questions about its purpose and the elusive figure who once wore it. I still cannot wrap my head around the fact that people used to wear such masks. It is said to be relatively more complete and preserved than other relics found in these pits over the previous decades. After the discovery of these ritual sacrifice pits in the late 1900s, many cultural artifacts have resurfaced, providing insights into Chinese history. Thousand Eye Bridge with the onset of the dry season 40 days earlier than usual in 2019, the water level of Poyang Lake in East China's Jiangxi province lowered to 9.98 meters, thereby revealing the 400-year-old ancient bridge. The bridge is known as Qianyan, or the Thousand Span Bridge, because of the thousand holes in its structure that facilitated flood discharge in ancient times. Built in the Ming Dynasty, the 2,657-meter-long bridge is the longest stone bridge spanning a lake in China. As the lake level rose, it disappeared into a watery grave buried under the surface for years. But now, due to a prolonged drought, it emerges during the dry season. For the last two years, visitors have been traveling to see the Ming Dynasty creation as it is now famous as an important historical and cultural artifact. Yarmutra Along the shore of southern Lebanon, a sunken city made an appearance in a dry spell of 2001. As the water level of the Mediterranean Sea retreated, the city of Yarmouta became known to the world. It was described as an important center of supplies, particularly of wood for the pharaohs at that time. The remains of the city stretch over an area of four square kilometers and are located at a depth of a few meters, only some meters off of the coast. Diving deeper, researchers uncovered remnants of paved roads stretching for 60 meters adorned with algae a few meters from the coast. The receding of the eastern coast of the Mediterranean is said to be a slow procedure as the walled structures of the city were preserved by the water over time. Ivory Lady A high-status tomb outside Sevilla full of ancient relics dating back to 3000 BC was discovered in 2008. Researchers found a human skeleton and a few artifacts inside the tomb. When the remains were first unearthed 16 years ago, they were misidentified as a male. But recent revelations through tooth analysis disclosed her true identity as a female. 
This remarkable woman was so revered by her people in Spain that they adorned her tomb with unimaginable riches and honored her memory for generations. She's now known as the Ivory Lady, buried with ivory tusks, ostrich eggshells, and a rock crystal dagger. This captivating finding challenges assumptions about women's roles and authority in the Copper Age, inviting us to ponder the untold stories of powerful women shaping ancient history. Love Child And a dose of science news now. Researchers have discovered an ancient bone about 50,000 years old. In 2018, a team of researchers in Russia made a remarkable discovery of a 50,000-year-old bone. As the water level outside the Siberian cave subsided, Russian archaeologists made their way to the cave to study the ancient remains of species lying inside. But to their surprise, the analysis of the bone revealed that it belonged to a child of two human-like species that are now distinct, Neanderthal and Denisovan. The child had a Neanderthal mother and a Denisovan father. The characteristics of the bone fragments of the species suggested it came from someone who was at least 13 years old, and most likely a female. These remains are the most concrete proof that ancient humans, from tens of thousands of years ago, mated across species. Hence, this species is being called the love child of two different hominids, Denny. Kerbet el Mastara the Iron Age period of the Jordan Valley was almost completely unknown archaeologically until a few years back. In 2017, researchers started looking for the signs of the previous settlement of the West Bank in Jordan Valley at the location of Kirbet el Mastara, meaning the hidden site in Arabic. As they started digging, they stumbled upon relics from ancient times, like pottery bits and stone structures. These findings provided important information about the people of that era and their lifestyles, finally putting an end to the mystery. The location and condition of this site continue to intrigue researchers as to why there were no other signs of development in this area. On this basis, the excavation directors believe the site is possibly an early Israelite site, constructed during the early stages of the Israelite settlement in the Late Bronze and Iron Age cave underwater. As the river is completely drying off at various places, some mysterious caves were found under the Euphrates recently. Various speculations have been made about the origin and purpose of these caves, as everyone has their theories to support their claims. It was said to be filled with untold treasures, lost artifacts from ancient civilizations, and even rumored to hold the key to immortality. People have reported that some eerie voices have also been heard from the caves, hinting at the presence of demons in the caves that might end the world. But like a tomb holding ancient enigmas, the cave under the Euphrates River has been sealed shut with its secrets in 2023, never to be disturbed again. Meteor it's amazing being a planetary geologist. I love it. I mean, my job is to, when I'm lucky, running around looking for rocks from space. So I couldn't wish to do anything better. A 4.5 billion year old meteorite was discovered in the dried up crust of Lake Eyrie in Southern Australia. Five remote cameras located around the dried bed to detect the presence of unearthly objects in the lake spotted the objects as it came down to Earth from farther away than Mars in 2015. The search for a meteorite weighing 1.7 kilograms was carried out by a team of geologists and researchers from the Curtin University of Perth. They narrowed down the 500 meter area with the help of advanced equipment. After a painstaking search of three days, the meteorite was finally discovered just hours before a natural catastrophe could destroy all visible traces of its landing. Researchers are hopeful that this meteorite, older than the Earth, would help them understand more about the origins and adaptations of the solar system over the centuries. I'm still not sure, and I'm still not sure until finally my fingers touched it at the bottom of this dirty great hole, and that was quite a nice moment. It's an iron meteorite, mate. Zakiku. 
In 2018, near the Mosul Dam in Iraq, another city reappeared on the face of Earth from under the subsiding waters of the Euphrates. The extreme dry period allowed the archaeologists to map parts of the important city that emerged mysteriously. The 3,400-year-old settlement, with a palace and several large buildings, was believed to be the ancient city of Zakiku, an important center of the Mitanni Empire. In addition to a large palace discovered during a short campaign in 2018, they were able to document several other buildings, a massive fortification with a wall and towers, a monumental multi-story storage building, and an industrial complex. The archaeologists were stunned by the relatively good preservation of the walls, even after the city was dismantled in an earthquake around 1350 BCE, commending the extraordinary architecture of that era. Imar A prolonged period of dry spell near Syria resulted in the unearthing of another ancient city lost to time, Imar. This city used to stand in the middle of the Euphrates River back then, but now it lies on the shore of the man-made lake Assad. The city was strategically situated on a trade route and played an important role in regional commerce and cultural exchange. The goods that were imported and exported through the Euphrates were unloaded here. As the archaeologists evacuated Amar, they found a treasure trove of cuneiform tablets. These tablets are of great significance, as they reflect everyday affairs amongst the locals rather than standard professional texts. They give insight into legal proceedings, marriages, transactions, and real estate matters of the city. Each inscription tells a story, adding Imar to one of the most remarkable cities discovered from under the Euphrates. Mysterious Lake In the winter of 1942, on the shores of a lake high in the Himalayas, a forest ranger came across hundreds of bones and skulls, some with flesh still on them. While the snow and ice melted that summer, many more were visible through the clear water, lying on the bottom. The lake thus got its infamous name, the Skeleton Lake. Genetic analysis of human remains found in the Himalayas has raised baffling questions about who these people were and why they were there. One leading idea was that they suffered simultaneously from a catastrophic event more than 1,000 years ago. But some skeletons were more ancient than others, suggesting that many were interred at the lake lifetimes apart. An anthropological survey from several years ago estimated they were from Southeast Asia and the East Mediterranean. This lake is still a mystery to people as to how the remains of folks got stuck there. Ancient Sword An eight-year-old girl found a 1,000-year-old sword in a Swedish lake. Jag var beredd på att kasta det, men det gjorde jag inte. Då tog jag upp det och sa till pappa, pappa, jag hittade ett svärd. Saga Vanessek was waiting in the water by her family's summer house in southern Sweden when she noticed something that felt like a stick. She had no idea she had discovered an ancient artifact. She called her dad and showed him what she found on the riverbed. Holding the 33-inch long Iron Age relic in her upright hand, she said that she felt like a warrior. This finding prompted some online viewers to call Saga the new Queen of Sweden and Queen of the North. When experts got their hands on the ancient relic, they initially reported it to be 1,000 years old, but now they believe that it may date back to the 5th or 6th century. The sword currently resides in a local museum in Sweden. Now, whenever I go swimming in a lake, I'll be looking to see what I can find. It's not every day that you step on a sword in a lake. Dead Sea Scrolls the Dead Sea Scrolls, also called the Qumran Cave Scrolls, are a set of ancient Jewish manuscripts from the Second Temple Period. They were discovered over 10 years, between 1946 and 1956, on the northern shore of the Dead Sea at the Qumran Caves in the West Bank. Dating from the 3rd century BCE to the 1st century CE, the Dead Sea Scrolls are considered to be a keystone in the history of archaeology, with great historical, religious, and linguistic significance. Most of the manuscripts are written in Hebrew, with some written in Aramaic, and a few in Greek. The texts are written in ink on parchment, animal skins, and metal sheets. Almost all of the 15,000 scrolls and scroll fragments are held in the Shrine of the Book at the Israel Museum, located in the city of Jerusalem. It's time for today's open discussion. 
Have you ever heard about the mind-boggling tale of the Cap d'Oie, the two-headed giant that sent shockwaves through history? I'm sure you haven't. So, here's the story. It's 1673, and Spanish mariners stumbled upon a colossal giant with not one, but two heads attached to its massive frame. Intrigued, they bravely faced the beast, ultimately defeating it. The giant is then mummified and shipped to London, only to resurface in the 19th century. Was it a creature of myth, or did the Cap d'Oie really walk the lands? Well, no concrete evidence proves the authenticity of the Cap d'Oie giant mummy, leaving enthusiasts yearning for answers. While skeptics argue it's a taxidermied creation, believers are convinced that the giant once roamed the Earth. The enigma deepens as we await DNA testing on the mummy. Will the legend of the Patagonian giants be unveiled, or will it forever remain shrouded in mystery? Share your thoughts down below. Thank you very much for watching the video. Do like it and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to not miss any of the upcoming amazing videos. Thank you once again.